I want to recognize there's a human side to this as well, you know, obviously with Wayne departing and, um, you know, that must have been tough as well. So my thoughts do go out to him and his family. And I think it's important they do recognize that. And I know it's a pressure job and there's a lot of expectations, but I, the buzz of international rugby, been, been involved in the Six Nations, um, you know, World Cup, I think that was the the tempting factors to to sway me to come back, really. I, I loved my time in Wales. I loved the people, the involvement, you know, how I was welcomed. Um, I wouldn't have stayed as long as I did if it wasn't really for that relationship with the fans and everyone. And, yeah, we had some success, but... Um, and we had some disappointments as well. So uh, I think I can come and hopefully create an environment where we can uh, service the expectations of a Welsh uh, public and the media that um, want to see, hopefully see Wales perform. The advantage I've got is that I know the setup and I know, you know, so many of the people involved. So I think I can hit the ground, you know, running. Obviously, there's a, there's a new group of players and there's a process that I've got to go through um, over the next few weeks and just getting a real feel for um, the place again. So it's not as this, it's not like 2007 or 2008 when I was coming in completely cold. Um, so I, I think that's a massive advantage that I've got in terms of knowing um, knowing Wales, like I said, and knowing the setup. And, you know, I, th I think I can come in there and, and hopefully be pretty seamless in, in, in my and stepping into the role you know I, I need to go through a process where i need to talk to people um i need to get the lay of the land and you know how things are there within within the setup and then i'll i'll make the appropriate decisions about you know what happens going forward look i haven't even, i haven't made any decisions on you know what what the setup looks like in terms of of the coaching setup so I haven't even got that far in terms of um, going through that process. So like I said, uh, the last 72 hours, is, it's kind of like it's been uh, fairly full on in terms of um, obviously having those discussions with Steve and, and Jan and um, talking to family and stuff about making making this decision. So I've made this decision now, and I, I think from now on, um, you know, that's where the, this work takes place in terms of making sure that I get things right in terms of the setup and, and the people involved. You know, if you're a flop and fail, you, you get, you, get uh, you know, I'm, I'm under no illusions what the expectations are in the next uh, 10 months. So, um, yeah, but, you know, I've always loved the challenge. I've always loved going into environments and, you know, there are expectations and, you know, hopefully exceeding those expectations. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, that's, that's part of professional sport. You know, there are, there are ups and downs and, um, and you live by your results and your performances. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about it, but, it, you know, you understand that there's pressures and risks and I'm, you know, I'm confident that, I can come in and you know hopefully make a difference and get a side together that um, are proud to put that jersey on. And when they go out there and they represent Wales in front of home fans or away, that, that they, they're prepared to die for that jersey. And that's kind of those are my expectations. And uh, I, I don't expect anything less from the players in terms of what it means to play for Wales, the history, the expectation. And um, and if we can achieve that in a short period of time, and um, I think that will give us, you know, hopefully the best opportunity to be successful. This also puts an end to any speculation that you could potentially have been taking on the job at England Rugby. Were you approached by the RFU? Were you ever in a position where you were considering both roles? Um. I'm only really here to talk about Wales, but all I can say is don't don't believe everything you read in the newspapers. Thank you.